Capricorn, it is good to see you and uh, thank you for listening and tuning in here every month. Uh, we're looking at the overview of what you can come to expect here in September. And it looks like there is a female right off the bat here that you might be working with or negotiating something with. Uh, she somehow becomes very important as if there's some information or news about this woman. She comes up as an air sign, so she can very well be a Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. Now, that being said, I have to say, though, that uh, either you are in between a rock and a hard place needing to make a decision, or it could be this woman that is between a rock and a hard place coming to you, looking for some insight as far as the decision that she stands in front of. But regardless, though, I see that that's something that's going to work out. And for you, though, uh, if you are perhaps working on any contract, well, then I do see paperwork around you. And that's why I'm thinking that this could have to do with uh, contracts because there is something coming in here back to back. More information, more insight, communications, and working uh, perhaps more so, should I say, the details out and how this is going to work for you in the long run. So take your time. Don't rush, especially if this is a contract which is work-based because then, of course, whatever it is you're deciding at this time will have a long-term consequence for you, right? And so you want to make sure that things are totally up to spiff, at least before any kind of signing. Since we're on the topic of work, uh, let's dive a little deeper into your career and what comes up here. Now, apparently, looks like you've put out a few feelers. And I feel that already at this point that you know what it is you want because you've been working towards it. But it's all about capturing it, okay? Really nabbing it and uh, claiming it as your own. So I'm feeling here that this is a great month for you to absolutely do so. I see how your self-worth is really up to par here with what it is you're looking into. And uh, I can see how those above you are keeping a good eye at the work that you're doing, uh, liking what you're doing. You are somebody who is, you know, for the most part, always very goal-oriented and good with details, right? Because security is important for you, Capricorn. And so uh, you're on the right path. That's all I can say. You're on the right path. And now you're kind of just like waiting, all right? And it's like you're spying <laughs> on the development of where this now can take you. So you're on the outlook, but I don't feel that you have to wait that much longer for something to come into fruition. In fact, I'm seeing that you're uh, quite shortly uh, here, time-wise, going to be released from whatever circumstances that have been binding or holding you. You know, there's a time to move forward. There's a time to step back. You're pretty good about knowing and recognizing those rhythms. And it's like you're, you've been holding your horses here for a little bit, but uh, not before long here. I see new beginnings. And in that, you are like a horse at the gate ready to, to set off and uh, so from that moment on you're already reaching for those next levels uh, within your uh, creativity your career the things that you now have been desiring and of course certain things take time that's one thing that you're always very good about uh, Capricorn that is patience not saying that you necessarily like it more than other people, but you have a greater doses of it than people most. And this is why success is nearly always guaranteed upon your path, though it could take time, but other people could lose their patience under the route, you know, and have to start and restart again and again throughout life. But you keep that steady course. Now, there is also some insight about home. Why do I say that? Well, there's two homes showing up here. There's a larger one, and then there's a smaller one. Now, there's a shift going on. So I don't know whether that's you thinking you would like to move, perhaps. That could be one solution. The other one could be, say, if you're renting, it could be your landlords uh, that are going to change up things. Maybe they want to move and sell, and where is that going to leave you? Now, uh, that could send you off on needing to look for a new place. 
or it, it could also just be you looking at wanting to invest in a second property. So there's many ways this can pan out for you. Um, I don't feel that it's going to leave you feeling unsettled in any way. It's just opening up, or should I say expanding the horizon of uh, where you live and how you live, all right? So um, the next thing I see here, now two men coming up. One is a fire sign. So he is very driven. He's outgoing, very charming. Um, he's good with words. He's got the gift of gab. He's very sweet, very flirtatious, uh, good looking. And I'm feeling here that, yes, there could be some um, new levels of energy taking place. For those of you single, this is a good sign, all right, because you could come to meet up with somebody that maybe you will fall head over heels for. For those of you already in a sound relationship, uh, no need to panic. It's not like somebody's going to take you away from where you're at. But then I could say that this energy that I'm seeing uh, between the two of you could actually just behoove the collaboration that you're working on. Um, there's mutual understanding, great energy that's resonating between you, and the ability to look at what it is that you hold between you and see a certain outcome okay so you're on the same page and so that collaboration should be uh, awesome when we're talking about more the stable love uh, factor in your life uh, your your partner your significant other for those of you in a uh, committed relationship there's something to be celebrated here this month in September so whether that is maybe an anniversary or it could be somebody having a birthday um, but I'm feeling around the time of this celebration there's also a second thing to celebrate so maybe he's the focus of um, say if he has a birthday that could be it but then there's something additional too or maybe he's celebrating you and something that you've been able to uh, should I say, real in, right, and secure. So uh, you'll have to see what that is. But regardless, the celebration seems to be yay, yay here for everybody who is present. So uh, it's like kicking your heels up under the roof. Now, um, there is here a male. This is somebody in your circle of friends, I feel. Or it could be a sibling as well. Now, this person here, very gentle, genuine, musical, or artsy at least, uh, is looking not only towards the future here, Capricorn, but it looks like there might be some changes coming in in his life. I see a lot of fertility around him. Uh, now, we can read that a few ways. Uh, it could be that his wife or girlfriend uh, is pregnant, or maybe they have a daughter who is pregnant. Uh, or it could just be that this man is heading towards a very fertile period in his own life, in his own creativity. And let me tell you, this man is quite both spiritual and creative. And in that sense, if it's all about him, well, then this person here is just about to come to see uh, a period of months ahead with a lot of growth. So uh, I think uh, from what I'm seeing, is it's something that will touch you, you know, uh, in your heart in your happiness for for this person financially um yes there's some good news i feel now is it like new money not necessarily though capricorn but i, I see security though whatever that means here uh it could be you looking into your accounts or your investments uh, maybe there's a bump up if you have any stocks and those kind of investments or maybe there's a payoff, or maybe there's an extra royalty uh, coming in, or just news about something securing you. So that in itself is always, you know, a blessing, right? And that being said, since we're on the topic of money, it looks like you might be able to conclude something as well. Maybe you're finalizing a certain loan. Uh, now that in itself will free up some funds, so it could be that too. But whatever you're leaving behind now financially, or walking away from uh, is a point of joy and a sense of victory. You know how we feel when a loan is paid off. It's like, yay, you know, freedom from that boundary. 
So, um, yes. Or maybe somebody is paying you off for something if they have owed you money. Uh, so that could be it, too, so that you can kind of close that chapter. So in the overall, pay attention to your dreams. There is a lot of things here sifting through from the higher consciousness or also from your subconsciousness wanting to come up to the surface. In that, there's a couple of things that might stand out. Uh, and if you recall your dreams, wonderful. It might just give you that, um, should I say, intuitive uh, kick to move forward or to find a certain solution to something that you've been wondering about here for a while. But I see strength. It's a generally very good month for you, Capricorn. Even though this is a general reading, uh, not all of these elements will fit for all of you. So pick those things that resonates with you. You know, unless it's a private reading, we can't, of course, cover everybody here that's Capricorn. But the general outlook for all of you is a month that seems to be very fruitful. So I'm happy to see that. And I'm looking forward to uh, check out what you can expect in October. So stay tuned and I will see you next month. Bye now.